Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I honestly feel like I have to make this footage here before this week passes into the past, if that makes sense. So I just have to do it. Just to provide for my creations and such, and I hope you guys understand. If you guys bear with me, I will introduce four different characters, like two heroes and two villains as far as I know. If you guys bear with me, I will explain them to you. Thank you in advance and such. Annabelle. Real name, Annabelle Truman. Height, six feet three inches to 102 stories. Weight, 247.5 pounds to unrevealed. Status, hero and ally of Colossa. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty, flirtatious, and willful. She'll do anything to protect all innocents, no matter the cost. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, she hates being dwarfed. Powers. Whenever she senses danger, she would gain great size and strength, uncanny fighting skills, and a strong healing factor. She also has uncanny reasoning skills and a photographic memory. Eyes, hazelish green. Hair, blackish brown and wavy. Origin. Since childhood, Annabelle Truman had always wanted to be a hero for Earth. One day, she was invited by Dr. Brain and Madame Doe be fused with powers that will forever make her exactly that. Afterwards, Annabelle learned of a gang fight led by the tyrannical Breakout, and immediately expanded to the height of 102 stories, eventually defeating the Crime Lord. Since then, Annabelle was marked as a hero, and would spend her free time with the size-altering Colossa. Costume. She wears a lime green latex leotard, that's designed to expand whenever she does. Teams, solitary with Colossus and other heroes. Original inspiration, womanhood. The next one I'm going to introduce is a native to the futuristic dimension, as far as I know. So I hope you guys could bear with me. Lady Future. Real name, Amy Truman. Height, 6 feet to 102 stories. Weight, 197 pounds, to unrevealed. Status, hero and descendant of Annabelle. Base, futuristic dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, loving, protective, and moody. She'll always try to defeat her opponents. Lethality, only by accident or during a fight. Weaknesses, low awareness and misogyny. Powers, she possesses similar powers as Annabelle along with the power to travel across time and space. She also wields an arsenal of futuristic weapons. Eyes, bright hazel. Hair, silverish black. Origin. In the futuristic dimension, Amy Truman was a simple employee for the heroic Captain Space until learning that she's the descendant of Annabelle. The next morning, Amy woke and found that she grew to 102 stories though the spiral starship was still able to contain her. Eventually, a traveling space weather came along and sent a series of EF-5 Makonados to destroy the spiral and its passengers. And after some struggling, Amy was able to defeat space weather. Earning the name Lady Future, Amy also got granted by Captain Space with the power to travel across time and space though she can still serve Captain Space on her various missions. Costume. She wears a set of futuristic clothes. Teams solitary with Captain Space and other heroes. Original inspiration, futuristic warriors. The next one is going to be a character that might take a bit of explaining for me to introduce and such. I don't have the alternative in the data sheets, but I will make sure that you understand. 
the character and such. So uh, I apologize in advance. Madam Impossible. Real name, Inga Nigers. Height, 6 feet 3 inches, weight 172 pounds. Status, villain, enemy of mystery. Face, untrusted dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, moody, destructive, and sneaky. She will always try to destroy mystery. Lethality, highly devastating when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, low trust level, and bad anger issues. Powers, she possesses the power to create an infinite variety of everything impossible, along with some martial arts skills. Eyes olive green, hair deep black and flowing. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native mystery is rather a chaotic counterpart known as Madame Impossible. One day, Madame Impossible learned about mystery and considered her as a roadblock for her schemes. After traveling to the default dimension, Madame Impossible and Mystery made their first battle on each other, which ended when a space whale landed directly on the unwitting Madame Impossible. Since then, Madame Impossible will do all that she can to get her revenge on Mystery, though her chances are undisclosed. Costume. She wears the same clothes as Mystery. Team solitary or with other villains. Original inspiration? The Infinite Improbability Drive. Here's the last character, which I believe is briefly explained on the character of Patriot and such, if at all. So I hope you guys understand and such. Here it is. Nazi. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 1,500 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, villain, and enemy of Patriot. Base, Germany, Alpha Earth, Mobile. Intelligence, four and a half brains. Behavior, sinister, menacing, and destructive. She'll do whatever it takes to destroy everything in her path. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses, nuclear weapons. Powers, she has great size and strength, can project a vaporizing beam, possesses a pair of oversized hands with finger blades, and has total ruthlessness. She also has a computer tracking system. Eyes glowing green, hair copperish red. Origin. When he learned about the existence of Patriot, Adolf Hitler ordered his servants to construct a massive cyborg with enough killing power to destroy the American hero. When their greatest weapon was finally complete, Adolf named her simply Nazi and uploaded her with information on how to hopefully destroy any opponent. However, the kaiju-like Nazi over time betrayed the Axis powers by vaporizing Adolf and destroying his armies. Luckily, when she was fighting Patriot, she lost when she was blasted by her liberty beams and decimated by a falling nuke. After a few decades, Nazi eventually recovered and is still urging to destroy the USA. Costume. She has a stainless steel bodysuit that protects her from most forms of conventional weapons. Teams. Solitary or with other villains. Original inspiration. Nazis and cyborgs. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the four characters I've introduced to you guys. And I hope things worked out for you guys and such. And just so you know, a few days ago I had to go to the emergency room because um, I had some damage to my esophagus for personal reasons. So I hope that there's some form of comprehension for you guys and stuff like that. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the march and such. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such. And until next time, in transmission.